Quality versus okay. quantity yeah, done Bubba style or something today, or what are we calling it? No, I call this You're live. something about uh, seven figure coach upholstery. Done Bubba style? Look at this comb over you got. Where did my you get that from? Good morning, everybody. We're coming to you live right here from inside. Oh, the main upholstery facility here at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. I three. Three. The upholstery. From stage three here at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. Bubba, I like the way you can uh, you kind of uh, added like main stage, main build facility, and upholstery facility. Well, okay, so technically that is what we do have. This episode is brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. That's Bubba's Exotic Motorsports.com. I'm Tom. We all know the Master Bubba, Miss Outlaw Boutique. Ladies and gentlemen, it is men's night at Miss Outlaw Boutique. I will be next door at Jumbie Bay drinking beer, and I'm not allowed to drink. So I'll be with Bub tonight, 1200 Town Center Drive, uh, Suite 108, ladies and gentlemen. You can go online as well, nine, six, six to nine tonight, right, Bub? Six to nine, yes. Six to nine tonight, the stunningly beautiful Robin and the super bottle Miss, uh, Miss Outlaw, Layla Von Athey will yep. be there. There will be drinks given out. I bought the bourbon and the liqueur for that, Bub. There are snacks. We went out and got those last night. Good morning to Goaty Bo. The world famous Goaty Bo, Brian Tester is in the house. Sup, girls? Brian, how you doing, babe? Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. Miss Outlaw Boutique, 6 to 9 tonight. We will be out there, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be incredible. The Guinness World Record holding largest cars and coffee event in the world, Bub, January 21st in the uh, South Palm Beaches. We have a big announcement about the 405 boys and the Guinness World Record holding largest cars and coffee event, Bob. Yeah, man, we're, uh, we're really looking forward to it. As you guys know, we talk about it all the time. There's so many things that are not only brewing here at the facility in terms of, uh, by the way, it is a main build facility, main upholstery facility, and a main body facility. We do have them all in one house. Is that anything like a main bearing? No, no chance. You know what this is before I go any further? Um, a main uh, mail slot. No, but you're really close. Oh, yeah? With the slot deal. This is going to be the 22nd century toilet seat for women. That, that's pretty clever, Bob. That's a wrap, dude. It's always props, Listen, right? I just looked at this thing. I looked at well, it. Both the producers are smiling. You got something going. No, that's you know. I nailed it on that one. Yeah? So check it out, man. So we have so much stuff going on here just from like a daily build and client standpoint all the way down to the small tire legends from the 405. We have crazy builds going on for SEMA 18. A lot of crazy things going on behind the scenes. We have now a full online store that is featuring over 19,000 products on our website. So I'm telling you right now, that is going to be the new go-to, guaranteed the lowest prices. I'm talking like Jag, Summit, all these wholesale racing companies, everything you can imagine, go straight to the site, get it, all in stock items, and they ship right away. But we just got off a great telephone uh, conference with the 405 Boys. As a lot of people know, the 405 Boys are the former small tire boys from the Discovery Hit Series Street Outlaws. We have married up with them. Uh, we have some contracts coming in today. I'm not releasing any information that's not public knowledge now. It will be in today from our uh, assistant, or not our assistant, our lawyer, Bob, uh, Joe Jansen, at around 1 o'clock today. So we have a question coming in from Goody Bo, and I think I know exactly what he's referring to. Let me, I'm going to go back. Just move on for a second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, everybody knows the world-famous Goaty Bo. He's the guy who likes to drive box novas into the walls and send them in here. He wants to know, what was for breakfast, Bob? And Not I'll, so I'll much help. for me, more for you. Did you eat a Trimble and sandwich for breakfast? <laughs> yes, I did. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, ask you guys if anybody could please identify this part right here. We see it has a handle bub, and it also has a, see that, it's spring-loaded. Yeah, this is, this can't be this hard, bro. Imagine the tank on the back of my women's toilet seat, mm -hmm. okay? This goes down to the bottom, and that's the plunger that mounts on the side of the tank, like this. Mm -hmm. Come on, imagine, this goes to the flapper valve. Mm -hmm. We're losing clips everywhere, Greg's gonna kill us. And then this mounts on the side of the tank, and you pull it. See, now there's no resistance from whatever just fell out. See? This is actually the parachute cord off of the world-famous legend, no Wayne Varley's gold car. It's not. There's I pull this, more. it sits up here like this, I pull it, and the parachute goes like this. 
Oop. and drops right out on the ground. On your car, it would. Yes. <laughs> it wouldn't deploy. And <laughs> the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports uh, Race and Rally crew is on the, our uh, touring ring is on the way back from World Famous OCC Headquarters, Bub, where uh, uh, our personal assistant was up there yesterday. Uh, they'll, he should be back sometime today as soon as he gets the uh, trailer out of the snow drift and off the embankment that he went down and rolled upside down. Yeah, so um, that's typical story of our driver, Craig, not Greg, who typically does a 110% job when he drives. Every time Craig goes, we typically end up losing an entire wheel, an axle, a spindle, drums. Uh, okay, so we have lost the whole trailer before. This is a true story. It was literally rolled in the middle of a road one time. Shame we didn't lose Thankfully, Craig. there was no car in there. It was just an open trip. I, I like it when he just left it sitting in the middle of the intersection and drove That's back That's what I'm saying. Goes, you guys need to go get it. He's like, yo, trip. I need a truck that has a better hitch on it because the hitch and everything just fell off of our truck. That was off our tractor. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. The weld just snapped clean off. But what do we got going right here in the main upholstery facility at See, Bubba's you like that, right? Sports? So check it out. This is one of those seats that we were discussing yesterday. Greg has already started stripping it down. This is the actual foam. That is the main structure and design of the seat. Underneath of all of that is the framing and the structure of the seat. But you can see Greg has already pulled that top cover off. I don't know where that is. Not on Good the morning to Candace Watkins as well out there. Good morning, Candace. Right. How are you? So we've got this thing stripped down. Greg's going to go through it. As you can see, this is actually using a type of component called ultra leather. Very smooth, kind of vinyl, kind of simulated leather. Not really the best stuff, but gives a great appearance and is very soft and has a nice clean look to it but it doesn't last worth a crap. I mean, some of these things last for 10,000 miles, some last for 2,000 miles, depending on the way that you get in and out of your seat. Of course, how heavy you are. Yeah. What kind of stuff you have around your waist. Some people ride around with keys hanging off their junk and they're always flopping everywhere. This, what is this? Is this a passenger seat or driver? I think that's a passenger seat. This is a passenger seat. Mm -hmm. It would be because I, so I, I So I don't know who's sitting over here, but this thing is faded like no other right here in the corner. And that's just super poor quality when it comes to seven really figure is, plus coaches. You want these things to last. You're paying big money for them. So now Greg is going through stripping all of this down, taking all these covers off, and literally getting all the new seat covers ready to go. And these things are nothing more than a props. Go. Oh, there's a lot you could do with that. There's only one thing I could have come up with, and I didn't do it because it might push the limit. Why? I'm just not doing it. I'm going to put it back down gently. When you say coach, bub, what do you mean by a coach? Explain to everybody what a coach is. So these are typically along the lines of some families have them for their actual living. That's for their home, right? Some people use these things as motor homes where they just live and they travel the world. Some people use them if they are musicians, celebrities, um, you know, whatever their status may be. They use these things to go around from event to event and that's what they're meant for. They are meant for touring, they're meant to get out and have all of your kind of home style living needs in one roof. It's a rolling home. So Bob, in other words, what we would say is it's just like the BEM tour bus. Yes, we have this. We have a master bedroom in it, four pop-outs yes. on ours, so it's like a double wide. Brian says, how long does it take to strip and recover a seat? That's a very good question. Yeah, so that's a really good question, Goody Bo. So when you are working with these things, if that's the same Brian, um, we have two Brian's with the boys. So, Brian Tesser. Okay, okay. very good. Um, so, if you are working with these things, typically the way you think about certain things like this, you're working with a coach, typically going to have full electronics to it. Some of these things go up and down, the motor's on them. Start by just doing your basics. You know, especially a lot of people ask us, hey, you know, can you price out what it's going to take to do a set of seats, whether it be front, whether it be rear? Very simple to do. You know, you can quickly run over basic ideas of to take the seat out of this car. Let's just go or with the RV. Let's go with, say, 30 minutes, right, to take a seat out, 20, 30 minutes, just to take the thing out of the coach and bring it in here to the table where you can start tearing it down. Then you've got probably another hour's worth of time disassembling all of your covers, so you're already looking at about an hour, hour and a half into the time, just getting it out on the bench, just like you see it here. Then you go into custom matching and stitching all of the upholstery design. This isn't even thinking about getting color match materials, trying to find the exact pamphlet, having all the correct swatches sent in if it's not something we have in inventory. So there's a lot of time that goes into you at an hour and a half just to strip it down. Then you figure you've got to start stitching all these up. Every one of these things, if unless you're doing a custom design, you can literally go panel for panel. So what a lot of guys do, if they don't have these things sitting ready to go, they'll go through and they'll cut all the thread out of here. As long as these are beautiful templates, you cut all the thread out, you can literally pull and razor blade every one of these things so that you can disassemble and make this panel A to A, you know, B to B, C to C, all your lines line up. Then what you do is lay down all of your new templating once you have your new roll of vinyl, leather, whatever it is you're using. You can put those down, lay these panels out, mark them, and you put the exact same spots. Then you start stitching them up. So typically on average, I would say, and Greg, you'd agree, probably 
four to five hours, sometimes six, even more. Is that good, Greg? Doing four, up, even, more, up a little bit. even more sometimes than that. So Greg's even throwing more than that, especially with these. These are armrests. There are backside yep, panels. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there, there are trim pieces sure. that go on the seat. This is the female slot for the new toilet. Go ahead, Greg. The, to redo these with the, with the factory covers that were sent in to replace yep. these. Yep. Five hours. You could do five hours. Okay. The two and so that's what you're saying, four or five hours, Bob, is what that's, you're saying. That's, that's, with, that's with covers done. That's now, pre-made covers. ladies and gentlemen, one of our very good friends is Mr. Larry Williams. There are that's two right. people in the automotive uh, or vehicle interior industry, whether it's a motorcycle seat, whether it's an RV seat, whether it's a special seat for the 405, the, for, uh, the former street outlaws, it doesn't matter, our clients, there are two people in the industry that are go-to whose work is unbelievable, and I yeah. think they're the best in the industry. That is Greg Diaz, our upholstery uh, foreman, and Larry Williams, okay? Larry lives, Larry's in where, Georgia, Bob? He's in Georgia, yeah. In Georgia, he's up in Georgia, he owns, uh, what's the name of his? Uh, I, Sunnyside, Trim Sunnyside. Shop. Sunnyside, I always, because it's sailfish, that's always sticking in my yeah. mind for some reason. But Sunnyside, Trim Shop, Larry is the best of the best, and so is Greg. You have two phenomenal people that you can send the work into. Larry just expanded his facility there. He's been a big fan of ours for a long time, uh, and he actually has a home here in the Florida area. Yeah, that's right, man. So, you know, going back to it, it's not hard at all to typically get into that four to six, sometimes even eight hours on seats, even more than that if you're doing like a double How about the SEMA seats? Even all of those things especially, but if you do like a, like Bentley seats, for example, Greg typically ends up winding, taking 10 to 12 hours oh, yeah. because you are literally doing a double diamond stitch and all of those things that have to match the door panels, the center consoles, all that stuff. So these seats can get very complex. You can literally be looking at 1,500, 2,000, 25, depending on your materials, all the way up to three, four grand a seat depending on whether you go with leather, you go with ultra leather, sure. assimilated, whether you go with true vinyl, whether you're going with marine grade. We build a lot of stuff down here in South Florida utilizing a lot of marine grade because there are a lot of beach cruisers and these guys want to be able to just take the tops off and if they get wet, who freaking cares? You know what, Greg? Something just hit me like, something just hit me right between the eyes. Um, you know, we all know, we would all agree that Greg Diaz and Larry Williams are the two best upholstery, upholstery shops in the world, right? Mm -hmm. You know, we were talking to Greg a little bit about timing and everything yesterday. Yeah, no, I know. I've already thought about all that. Okay. Greg and Larry married up. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, Larry, we need to talk. They are built what? Uh, let's see. They are built differently than regular seats. All right, now, as Larry talk, ladies and gentlemen, we are communicating with Larry Williams from 75 Side Trim Shop. He's in Atlanta, Georgia area, right? Producer shaking his head now. hospital bed. He's in a hospital bed? Oh, we're going to see it. Good morning from, hold on. Good morning. Didn't from, come up. Wait, Larry, are you, Larry, seriously, are you okay, my friend? What's going on? Uh, Larry, we'll tell, me, tell me what's going on, Larry. I want to talk to you. I want to make sure you're a friend of ours. I've got chills, man. I don't want anything bad happening to you. Good morning to Lion Luf, uh, Brian Luftwaffe and the, the legend himself, the godfather of small tire back rows racing, Mr. Wayne Varley. The gold car. Bub, you were out there in the gold car yesterday uh, doing a lot of things uh, from a motor perspective. Yeah. Uh, you took it, pulled the motor out through, through the windshield. Um, I used the uh, little straw, that, that little, there's a little stainless pipe that came up and sitting at the base of the windshield. I used that to drink my soda with yesterday. Oh, the purge line. The, oh, I thought that was my soda straw. No, no chance. But what do we have right here? These are some of the tools, ladies and gentlemen, that professional upholstery shops use. Yeah, so this is actually, you're just holding a standard staple gun. These things are air-powered staple guns. This one is one that we use here. Greg uses this one specifically. There are different options for these things. You can get short neck, you can get long neck, depending on the style of building that you're doing, whether it be seats, whether it be armrests, whether it be custom paneling. Sometimes you need a long neck reach on this thing. Sometimes you need a short head on it. All of different styles. Uh, Bob, are there any rednecks in the 405 crew? I would have to say yes. Okay. I'm just wondering, bro. What do we have right here, Bob? This is a very sharp tool. Where did that question it's almost even come like from? Almost like a very gun. sharp. This is. You can see it does have like a smooth bottom, so you can run it through things. What is this, Bob? What this do we is have? this is Craig's fork. That's Craig's fork. That's how Craig eats. Yes. Wow. Fits right in. Are you saying he's got a uh, shall we say angled tongue? Missing tooth. Oh, just shove it right in. Slips right in. So this is actually a staple what? remover, okay? What the hell? Hold on, just, he'll keep going. Let me finish right now. So this is a staple remover, which is one of the things, as you guys remember from yesterday, we discussed this trim panel that's actually right here. 
does go on the back side of what you're seeing here. So this is on the back side of it. The material rolls in super smooth here. This clips in with the push pins on the sides, but I'll tell you what, man, this was what was hiding that was like 200 plus staples. And look at how quick it to show it to everybody, bro. Oh, it's terrible. So, I mean, there's just an absolute mess of staples. I don't know if this is gonna be on the right spot. Just a bunch of crap just shot everywhere. So when you do use the right tool, you can literally just go through here and you can get underneath these things and you can pop them right out within seconds and it's done. So it allows Greg to just move through. Although this should be a five minute job with about 200 staples, it does take a little bit longer than well, that. Well, the other thing that you and Greg do as well, same with Larry, is he'll, well, although this was very sloppily done, mm -hmm. okay, everything you guys do, the staples line up. Well, it would know, still be like a straight perfect yeah, line. Every exactly. one of these is turned sideways, twisted, two of them X'd over each other. I mean, it's a mess of staples going on here. A lot of that stuff, some people take the time and go perfectly smooth around it. It looks great. We got to say, Larry had a stroke bullet and a blood vessel bleeding uh, in his brain. I see you for four days in regular room now, Larry. Wow. God bless you, man. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Uh, you are a very good friend of this show and a longtime friend of ours personally. Larry, is there anything we need to be doing uh, or the 405 crew needs to be doing to help you? Those boys are the most charitable boys you'll ever meet. Is there anything we can be doing to help at the Atlanta, Georgia shop if we need to make a run up there uh, and run it for a couple days? Uh, if Greg needs to run up there and do some sewing, let me know. Uh, that's what family does at the end of the day. Wow, it gives me chills. Larry's a freaking good guy, man. Yeah. Larry, seriously, if Greg needs to run up there, he loves to be on the road. He'd go up and take care of the business. Most Ricky Ticky for yeah. you. But we have a pointer here. Do you will see Greg shaking his head? Yes, Larry, he'll go up and help. Man, that gives me goosebumps. Give Larry's me the pointer. That problem, man. All right, so this is actually a pick. This is nothing more than a straight pick. Snap on sells these. By the way, coming to you broadcast live from BEM, Snap On does sell these in a four pack setup. You're kidding me. They good. do have a 90 degree pick. There is a 45, and there's also this one that's a swivelly looking, who knows what you it's, want to call it. It's called a hook. A hook. It's a hook. Yes. It's called a hook. The technical term that is, bro. Listen, so this is nothing more than a straight pick. I have no idea why Greg has it out here unless he's using it to poke holes in the seat. It's very possible. But we have it so. To find the screw holes to put all the panels back. Smart. There See, you go. right there. To find the screw holes to put it back together. One of the other tools that can commonly be used here in the upholstery shop is? This should be in every technician's box. That's correct. This is nothing more than a Phillips head screwdriver. Again, by Snap-on Tools. They do offer this in a four-piece, seven-piece, 11-piece. Am I getting paid for this or not? No, but you are a, a Snap-on tool exclusive guy. Oh. But on the back of many tools, especially the higher end tools, you will see the way the blade is set. So you'll see a star here, yep. you'll see a straight head here, because for very indexed builders like yourself, uh, it, it does allow you to see when the screw is indexed and how you want it to be. Yeah. Uh, the trick to indexing something, ladies and gentlemen, is not to get it too tight and then over torque it, it's to know when to back off and do it properly so everything aligns itself. We were in here with one of our A-listers yesterday. Bub picked up his car that you just finished painting. He was saying one thing about Bub is nobody can ever question the quality of your work. People may complain because it takes you a little longer, but you are not afraid to tell people to pack it up and go down the road. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah. If you don't want to be, people don't understand, and from a management perspective, you're as aggressive as I am. This is about what we call a Christmas tree uh, tool. You can see it's bent like this. Again, with the Snap-on, we do endorse Snap-on products because of the quality. Can you please tell us what this does, Bob? So this one is, I mean, multi-use. Multi this thing can be used for a number of things. For example, this is that piece that goes on the back of the seat. This is for the front seats. You can literally get behind these where you have one, two, three, four Christmas trees. This also works not only on Christmas trees, but any sort of clip in general. What is a Christmas tree, Bob? Uh, so that's like this one here that's almost ribbed for her pleasure style push pin. Mm -hmm. So you can get behind this thing. Visually, you cannot see it. All you can do is kind of pull on this thing. You feel where there's a little more tension in some places than other. When it's on the seat, you feel for the most amount of tension and you can start working the very flat point of this tool behind that and you can lightly pry against it and it will pop these things right out without damaging material. This is a very soft, smooth roll on the back. It's not harsh. So you can do it on door panels against paint. You want to try not to, but you can pop out all your door panels. You can pop out headliner clips, A pillar, B pillar, C pillar, seat trim, upholstery. I mean, anything you can imagine. And Bob, even, I mean, these things even work great. I kid you not. Sometimes you need these on very small engine pieces. Sometimes you need to pop off like a wiring harness. And some of today's wiring harnesses have like zip ties around them, but have a push pin very much like this on the bottom side. They go through like maybe a fuel rail or something like that. You can again just pop that entire harness right up without damaging it. Well, here we have uh, kind of a standard uh, piece that everybody knows. Let's talk about what we have here. So this is nothing more than your basic quarter inch socket and extension. This one's rocking an eight millimeter semi, well semi deep. So this is just a basic 
six point socket and that is used to do nothing more than remove and install nuts and bolts. But finally, in what, uh, some of the more common tools used here in the BEM upholstery shop and the Sunnyside uh, Surf Shop are the following two items. The glass jar contains what we call hog rings. Bub, can you please explain what a hog ring is? Well, these were actually in a really nice box, but because Greg went through and drank all my moonshine, he was able to put them in this. I used all yours. Those are my personal ones. Yeah, you used all of the, the moonshine. Yeah, all the moonshine's gone. So yeah, these are nothing more than hog rings that what you, these are almost like, uh, I don't know, what would you compare this to? Maybe a heavy duty staple. zip tie, maybe a really heavy duty staple, but these are different than the fact that you don't take them and push them straight in and hammer them down. You have a special tool called a hog ring flyer set, right? You can actually put these things in here. They do have like a smooth little dimple in them that is built that. for the corner. So as you're putting, say, two pieces of material together, maybe you have a strap that needs to come around and meet a metal rod, you can take these and squeeze them in, and it will completely crush it down so that it's ah, interesting, Bob. just like a full ring, and it ties a couple pieces together. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see Through that? Through the upholstery or okay. anything like that. So, Bob, that's a quick overview. The skill set that it takes for people like Greg I mean, these Larry. are just a couple tools. This doesn't yes. get into, like, the concept right. sewing machine, the threads, the needles, the bobbins, the... I mean, there's all kinds of crap that you have to go through. There's foam. There are different thicknesses of foam. There are headliner material. There is Velcro. There are zippers. There are clear vinyl for windows. There are, man, there's so much stuff that goes into custom upholstery. Again, oh. an art in this business that not many people understand what it truly takes to either do the job in terms of time or also in terms of quality, man. There's so much stuff. I mean, listen, if you look at the front of this stitch, you guys can't see it. I know it's not clear enough. It's all over the place. This, I've never, ever honestly seen a stitch so poor as that. But when that you look at Greg, when he Dead makes, on. when he makes, he can make some, he'll walk it through the heel. Is it the heel? Is that called the heel, right? The foot. The foot. He'll walk it through the foot of the sewing machine at such a calculated pace that you barely see his foot rock on and off. It's a real art form, and then it goes straight through, and you do the same thing. One stitch at a time. One stitch at a time, and that's the way you are, Bob. Very yep. slow, very mechanical, very methodical. Larry Williams, please reach out to me uh, personally on my cell phone, sir. I need to know if you're okay. We'll get Greg on the road on the way up to uh, the Sunnyside Trim Shop and keep make sure everything's going well for you up there. Our thoughts and prayers are all with you. God bless you, man. You're a very special part of the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports family. Yep. You definitely are. Lou and Hayden out of Ozark, Missouri says, squeeze your balls. Oh, boy. Squeeze a what? Squeeze a, I think squeeze a rod. Squeeze a rod. Squeeze a rod. Squeeze a rod. That's correct. You're just rods in here doing to that. Yeah, we don't have any rods in here to squeeze, unless we're talking about our producer, Robin. Yeah. All right. We can do that. Street rod? No. Hot rod? Nothing. No? I don't know. How about it? Squeeze a rod. But this know. weekend on the number one rated internationally syndicated motorsport podcast, 22 million fans around the world, Bub, annually. I'm very proud of that number, my friend. Yeah, man, pretty solid. And, uh, you know, definitely if you guys aren't going to be local, if you're not going to be here for Miss Outlaw Boutique tonight, it is men's shopping night. This thing is being catered. It is being bartended. There is live music. There is everything you can imagine. And by live music, I don't mean by a bunch of guys standing on a stage with banjos and guitars. I'm talking about I'm going to plug in my phone, go Bluetooth, and play through the audio system. That's as live as it gets. It's going to be fun. So... That's where we're at. It's going to be a lot of fun. We are going to be there having a great time. The place is already, I think, 100 plus people have already signed up as going. So it is going to be shoulder to shoulder in the store. It's going to be an awesome time. So if you are local, make it out. But I want to talk about we've had one schedule change uh, to the uh, 561-405 uh, gathering uh, that was scheduled for the 14th of January. I just spoke to the boys a little bit, so I'm able to speak about it now. That uh, event was uh, scheduled to go in kind of unison uh, with the Supercar Week event. We wanted to make sure that the boys had a full weekend here with us from the 405 crew. Mm -hmm. They are the former small tire crew from Discovery's uh, hit TV show, uh, Street Outlaws. Yeah. Um, these boys are ready to put on a show. Um, you have uh, your friend uh, Bo coming in, Goaty Bo coming in early. Yep. Uh, he's taking off the whole week. He's coming in early to come down and hang out with you guys, do some building and stuff like that. I think you guys will be doing some pretty elaborate design and, uh, uh, ideas for the uh, Box Nova. I understand that you had talked to Goaty the night before and you were talking about engine development and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and that you shared that most of the small tire boys are going to be on twin turbo setups from here forward. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, that's probably where we'll end up going with it. You know, you can build so much power out of, you know, especially with today's technology. If you're using the right internal components, a lot of forging. A lot of aluminum components get that weight down, build that power and the strength up. 
and then you multiply it with the twin turbo applications that are out today with the dual ball bearing systems, all ceramic billet aluminum GTK setups. These things, you can put them on there and produce jaw dropping numbers. I mean, easily four figures in terms of horsepower. And it's just, that's all you need, man. You only need so much before it gets to a point where it's either uncontrollable or you cross that threshold into, hey, listen, we need to somehow plant this power even more. And you get into like the full tube chassis cars, the big tire cars, which is not what we're not, we're not, we're not doing that. We're staying small tire. Uh, grassroots Americana. The thing that I like, Bub, the one thing that I understand that you're going to be doing with the uh, uh, the 405 boys is you're going to be building consistent motors. So each mm -hmm. car will be running roughly the same platform, although you never build the same thing twice. Yeah. But what you're looking at is having that base twin turbo setup in these cars dominating mm -hmm. and then being able to take the technology to the next step from there, right. from there, from there. So you've got a huge, hugely powerful, powerful dominating platform to begin with. Yep. And you and Bo have been talking about that, I know, at great links behind the scenes. Yeah. Very good. Larry Williams says, thank you for the offer. I've got a great team here. They will continue to move forward at the shop. Larry, you're welcome. And tell, I'm, I'm telling you right now, Greg's sitting off set, shaking his head that he will go right now uh, to Georgia if you need a manager up there, if you need somebody to get behind the machine, whatever you need, our team is there with you. Uh, to help you guys yep. out up there, man. So, Bob, we're going to jump out of this uh, segment. As soon as I share with you, we have moved forward the event at Palm Beach International Raceway. They wanted some time to do some additional prep work. They wanted to open up the track more to the public uh, so that the 405 and the 561 crew could get together. The film crews will be there. We have a couple other celebrity guests coming in there. Lewin Hayden says, Lewin Hayden out of Ozark, Missouri says, uh, Larry, please get well. Uh, his thoughts and prayers are with you also. Thank you, Lewin. That's the BEM family. Um, Bub, we will have a couple other celebrities out there. Uh, it will be uh, open to the public. There will be VIP tickets available now, uh, which we had to put on the side burner before. This is the weekend of the 21st. Then we will be making a uh, celebrity appearance at the Guinness World Record holding largest cars and coffee event right here in Palm Beaches. That's right. It's going to be a lot of fun, Bub. We'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, until tomorrow. Just keep on doing it, Bubba. Please style. come visit us tonight at Miss Outlaw Boutique from 6 to 9, ladies and gentlemen, 1200 Town Center Drive, Suite 108. Bub and I will be over at the world-famous Jumby Bay, where you will also meet the 405 crew over the weekend of the 21st after we leave Miss Outlaw Boutique. 561-660-6695, ladies and gentlemen, the former supermodel, and stunningly beautiful, Bub's fiance, Miss Outlaw, Layla Von Athey, will be there with her strikingly beautiful mom. It's men's night, discounts, all kinds of great stuff, drinks, alcoholic beverages, snacks, good time. Boys, go in there and buy for your girls. Show those girls how much you love and support them. Monster Energy. Monster Energy is energy done Bubba style. And why did I have one of these out of the refrigerator, Mr. Producer? Gift certificates are available as well. That's correct. Gift, certificate, gift certificates are available. Thank you, Mr. Producer. Uh, gift certificates are available. Good morning to Robin Weigel. Shannon Citrick, the world's best office manager. They do not come any better than that. Jersey girl with an attitude, ladies and gentlemen. Denise, good morning out there. Wayne Barley, we all know him as the gold card, the, God, the godfather. Larry Williams, we, James, hello out there. Craig Phillips, Reed Calais. Good morning to all of you friends and family from around the world. Thank you for being part of our lives and allowing us into yours. Miss Outlaw Boutique, 1200 Town Center Drive, Suite 108. Tonight, Bub and I will be out there. You'll find us next door at Jumby Bay, but you'll see us out there as well. Check out all the great stuff. Monster Energy, Monster Energy is energy done Bubba style, ladies and gentlemen. It's how we build these cars around the clock. Renegade Fuels. Something's got to take these cars and get them down the track and around the corner here in the Palm Beaches. Look out for big, big dispensers of Renegade Fuel here coming soon to Bubba's Exotic Motorsports, along with some of the other big sponsors stepping in as well. Make sure you visit Bubba's Exotic Motorsports for the latest in apparel and accessories, along with 19,000 items from Nitto Tire Bub, American Racing, Borley Exhaust, all of them all the way around the world. And finally, the Guinness World Record holding largest cars and coffee event in the world. We will be off exit 71 on the 21st of January with the former Discovery Street Outlaws from the 405 crew. Cody Bo will be there. The legend, Wayne Varley, will be there. The gold car driver, Andrade Jr. and Sr. will be there. In fact, it's uh, Sr.'s bub wedding anniversary, and we're still going to make it work uh, as well. James Fidel will be out there. Uh, Travis Santa Cruz will be out there with Black Ops. All of them. I'm not leaving anybody out. All of them will be there on the 21st. 20th will be at Palm Beach International Raceway. Big event. Come see them live out there. You want to see these boys race, you're going to see them in the seat and meet them in person as well as a behind-the-scenes tour of BEM, Adams Ordoing, the number one rated 
internationally syndicated motorsports podcast. It's a holiday season, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you reach out to touch somebody's life in a very positive manner today. Open the door for somebody who's got packages in their hands. Make sure you give them a hand. If somebody has holes in the bottom of their shoes, as I do, because Diesel eats all my shoes, buy them a pair of shoes, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a pair of your high heels out of the trunk if they fit. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Take them right next door to Shoe Corral. Buy them a pair of shoes. It's cheap. And if somebody's hungry, ladies and gentlemen, they're sitting right there. 7-Eleven's over there. Wendy's is behind me. How about that? You take and buy them a meal. That's your Starbucks for the morning. You'll feel better in your heart. Right, Bob? You'll feel better in the heart, right? That's right. It's going to be a great time, man. Let's make sure we take care of all of the animals that are in our lives. I'm not a guy who can even watch, uh, um, what do you call it, Bob? National Geographic's uh, Animal Kingdom. And what? Speed up. Now that sandwich is kicking in. That's a good idea. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't even watch, uh, I don't like animals being killed on television. People, it's another story. They're very predatory. I don't have any problems with that. I served in the military. It's kind of the fun stuff you get to do, right? How about that? Till tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, let's just keep on doing it. Thank you to all this BM, BEM family right here. Thank you. From my heart to the former 405 boys out there and Discovery's former Street Outlaw show, you boys are the best, man. You guys keep us laughing. It's a lot of fun building this project with you behind the scenes. Thank you to Chet Burks, the world's greatest producer. Thank you to Joe Jansen, the greatest entertainment attorney in the world. Thank you to all of the people in the Bugs Exotic Motorsports family, ladies and gentlemen. And thank you for letting us be part of your lives. Until tomorrow, Bub. Just keep on doing it Bubba style. Let's go get something to eat, Bub. You want to? Tuna fish today, Bub? Yes, sir.